Hello, Baloo, and howdy do. I'm Sanctum. Welcome back to Third Age Total War Dwarves of Erebor campaign. In the previous episode, a lot happened. Isengard died, the Orcs of the Misty Mountains died, and Lord Thorin died. Just a lot of dying and death and destruction. In this episode, there's going to be even more death, dying, and destruction as we head north to Agmar and south in Rune. So without further ado, let's continue. And I believe where I'm, I'm at end turn because that's where I left it last time before we toggled Fog of War. So we'll end the Oh, right. Those guys. As super tempting as it is to just wait a few turns until I gain money and try to like spread my armies so that I maximize on my profits. I just want to get out there and fight. Especially since Agmar is pretty weak at the moment. And of course, once that little army over there attacks and I def successfully defend, I'm going to want to head south to destroy their... Well, not destroy, but capture their city. Yeah, I'm still making money. Lots of stuff. My king. Marching now. That's if they even attack. I will not waste words on you. It's totally possible they try to siege me out, though that hasn't happened to me in a long time. My king. Hmm. New thought. I could send. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Tastes like ribs. I could send this little army kind of head out toward the east while this bigger army takes out the north. Either way, I think this army is fine the way it is. I should have just gone north instead. Oh yeah, I'm losing a bunch of money. Ah, uh, great. Now I gotta really think about things. Well, Gimli is for sure gonna attack Agmar over here still gonna do what they're doing I want to send a second army over here to take Karasant and work their way southward this way along the sea while this army works its way along this way then once the sea is mine that will generate a ton of income because there's a ton of trade that goes along here then I could head south and mop up the rest that's my plan. I just don't think that's very realistic considering how much in debt I am and everything that's going on. I saw it. And let's face it, even if I sent these guys over, it won't be enough. I'm thinking I need to focus all my attention on Agmar and just kind of hold these areas. Don't bother going out and attacking for a while. That's the case. I sire. I lord. I sire. I. That's the case. I'm going to maximize on my potential uh profits by putting them all away. I'm making decent money, losing it all with these guys, but that's fine. Wish I had a spy. A spy would be very useful right about now. Oh, these diplomats. These diplomats are tearing me apart, let me tell ya. And the Easterlings still haven't attacked me. I really don't want to have to attack them. Because then they'll just run away and then the advantage will be with them. Yeah, might as well attack the rebel fort. Okay. God, that is ugly. Rune and Dol Amra. Dol Amra. Oh, they must be uh, part of the uh, can loves me, which is weird. Must be part of the invasion. Maybe that's why they went to war. Because they're like nowhere near each other. Well, I guess they're sort of near each other, not really at all. 
Still need to reinforce this area. Four turns until I just I lose it. Gotta pay attention to that. Make sure I don't actually lose it. Oh yeah, these guys. Once I start making money, I could just generate an army from here. So I should be focusing on my money making or getting out of debt making. I wonder if that means I should take the army that I currently have in Erebor out. That way when I have money, they won't, won't immediately spend it. But then that means I have to set everything that it's not constructing. Yeah, they're going to siege me out. I have to attack them. God dang it, I don't want to do that. What about you? Marched our limit. Orders. March. On march. Sure. Why not? Do today, sire. Oh, I don't want to attack them. I will not waste words on you. It's gonna be so bad for me, but they're just not going to attack me. Glory and honor are most noble conquests, sire. All right. Next turn. Gonna attack Agmar. Actually, do they have any walls? Yes, they do. Okay. So I can't. Oh yeah, you. You. Gonna put you in Goblin Town. Actually, I'll send you back to Erebor. Could probably use another. Well, we don't really need another general. We have plenty of generals. But. I'll take more. Alright, so you're moved. Everyone's moved. <sighs> By your will, sire, we shall engage. I really don't want to. Those are some powerful units, too. And they have four archer horse archers. In the stupid chariots. What other choice do I have if I don't? Then they'll just siege me out. And every turn that I waste, I'm losing people. So I have to do something about it. But they get the advantage by so much. I know a lot of people enjoy attacking first. Oh, well, this is interesting. There's also this little... little tidbit. Oops. This one, two, and then you're over there. Excellent. Hey, uh, group, thank you very much. Now is everyone over here? Yeah, you're there. You're out, ah, whatever. Hopefully, nope. Of course not. I was gonna say, I hope they attack me anyway. But they didn't. Might as well just get everyone set up. They going all the way to the edge of the map. Interesting choice there. I'm just going to leave my archers. It's really no point sending them out just to be killed. I think I'll also leave my cavalry. At least at first. Well, maybe not. I'll, I'll send him out. I 
those guys are a problem. Boy, this sure is exciting, isn't it, folks? Dang it, maybe I should send these guys out. It'll be forever before they get down here, but... At least they'll eventually get down here, right? Slowly inch forward. Why are they so much faster? Heavy infantry and light infantry. So weird. Why are you running? Are they shooting me? Yep, they're shooting me. Alright. Let's see if I could do this in a good way. You go over there to flank them. You attack there. You attack there. You also attack there. 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 And flank around them. While you guys kind of just like go right there. That guy's still in the wall, isn't he? Probably. These guys are so much faster for some reason. Alright, you guys need to stop, because you're too fast. Ah, uh, these guys. They're faster, and they're also in their special form. Alright, everybody run now. Charge into them. And they charged. Yeah, I should probably group all these guys up so I know what's going on. Uh oh. Chariots. Looks like they're coming. Battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh, here they come. Flank me. Alright, yeah, those guys should probably run. The enemy general lies. Oh, dead. excellent! Let the crows have his miserable bones and let our swords have his men. The battle yeah, just shoot them. Much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Excellent. This is looking good. Except for Dale Calvary, which are dying. And I knew I should have left the archers out of it. Uh, you should probably run away. In fact, you should all run away. 
It was just a waste of people that didn't need to die. I was right the first time. Alright, you kind of joined up with them, so there's that. And you kind of also joined in with them, so there's that. Oh, this Dale Calvert actually did a uh, kind of a number on them, I think. Not enough where it's impressive, but. We need to get more people. We need to get more of my dwarves surrounding them. Hopefully that works. I just want to kind of push. The push method always seems to work for the enemy. So, why not for me? Ah, oh, crap. Battle up here is going well, at least. Pikes versus... Pikes? Halberds? I don't know what to call those guys. They have lost half their men. Yeah, we've also lost a good chunk. Way more than we should have if they just siege us out like normal enemies. Okay, they ran. Excellent. Oh, that's not good. Okay, these guys are about to get flanked. Please break. All right, you're completely surrounded. Please break. God dang it. Oh, where did you come from? Okay, they broke. Oh, and these are pikes. Excellent. Okay. Up here. It's good. Everyone's running away. Yeah, just turn our attention towards these guys. Once they die or run away, that might be... That just might be it. Unless they regroup, which I knew they would. Alright, so you guys regroup. The rest of you chase after them, I guess? No. You guys need to focus on them. You're never going to catch up to uh, the horses. Where are they going? Are they gonna like try to text? Oh, what's going on over here? You idiots! You're supposed to run away! Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Well, these missiles won't be shooting for very long. Dang it.
For a bunch of archers, these guys are pretty tough. That's what she said. Okay, they're close to the wall. Oh, this might mean they're... They're not gonna get inside. There's no way. They're not smart enough for that. That's what I thought. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, that's all of them over here. All that's left looks to be these guys and the cavalry over there. Those guys, I think, are running away. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. No, attack and these guys. The field. Yeah, end it. Oh. 582. That should be like 200 if they attacked us. That would have been so much better. But no, they wanted to siege us out like a smart enemy. They didn't want to behave like a dumb AI. The only good thing to come out of this is now making more money. Which is good. It might actually be better for me because I can't really afford to keep on my campaign against the Easterlings. Yeah, see, I'm making a lot more money now. I, my liege. Yeah, I'll keep you there. Uh, I believed I moved everyone else. So end of the turn. Is there a better chance of them successfully bribing a place if, I, if it's not defended? I think so. I might want to send like a minor unit or something in there. Nah, probably doesn't matter. Care Andros, don't care. I, my liege. Leading the men with honor, sire. I sire. Lane there. At once. Uh, how many turns? Four? I can wait four turns. I'll put you in Derenberg. Free upkeep. Excellent. So we'll be making money next turn. Which means I can start retraining these people. Come on. My king. Same with them. We march no farther today. Gonna probably want to send these guys back too when the other army is done. I will not waste words on you. Neither will I. Get the hell out of your lands that now belong to me. Now that I'm making money, can I afford to make towers without dying? I think I can in the western area, just not the eastern area. Like Winterian, that whole area over there. That way I know if anybody's going to be coming for me from like Karasant. Dunland dwindles. That was foretold. Another army. Great. Uh, you guys Aye, over sire. there. Aye. Forward. That'll do him today, sire. To recruit people or not to recruit people? That's a question. Yeah, he's not gonna attack me. Gonna Even if he does, he's just one person. I'll siege that out. At least try to. I'm sure they'll come after me. We 
Maybe I don't retrain them yet. Maybe I wait. Because I can defend this area. Alright, Oin. You're going to be my tower maker. Wow, your movement speed is horrendous. Well, not speed, but range. It's still horrendous. Skarn, I could probably take whoever's in Skarn and Ron out. Since they'll have to take the other area before even dreaming about going up there. So, are you going to attack or are you going to siege me out? Set a constant watch. The enemy lays siege. And a blade isn't doing very well. I, sire. I, noble sire, setting a vigilant watch here. I will not waste words on you. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to beat these guys in an open field. Not with this. Not with my little rabble. Uh, I'm gonna stick you. He might attack along with these guys. My king. Then again, I have so many people. I didn't really retrain anyone, did I? I mean, I could probably give them experience or like the shield and stuff, but I don't think I really gave them anything. Probably gonna get something for them. I'm sure these two will be recruited. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try to make an army again. It's for you guys. Yeah, I don't want miners. You're just a waste of my time. Six and ten, six and eleven. But they have a lot of experience. I'll keep them around. I do like archers. What about Kirikathal? Fine, I'll wait. Which means I should probably disband that army too. Oh, I should have sent those guys down. Totally forgot about them. So, buildings are being built. It's part of the reason why my income is going down. I'm also creating armies. Still making a bunch of money. Yeah, because there's no way, dude. Guess I could try it? Actually, can I even recruit any of those guys? My king. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just gonna disband them. It kills me, but it's just money being thrown away. I'll come back with a larger army. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Like, ah, I don't want those guys. Six turns. I guess some generals. Wow, it's so bad. It's gonna take forever. Oh boy. This escalated. But it's only one more turn. I imagine uh, that Agmar is going to fight it. I hope they don't. The hell? Oh, great. Well, at least they did attack. 
Uh, it would have been better if they just ran away. And I'm out of time. So it looks like at the beginning of the next episode, you're all going to get a battle. Ain't that exciting? Of course, it isn't Thorin, our, one of our greatest generals, to defend a city. It's going to be Thrar, the Honorable. He is a good general, but he's no Lord Thorin. May he rest in peace. But that is all the time, like I said. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you all enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one.